Hello everyone. In our today's video, we will talk about another AI tool, SciSpace. With it, you can. In today's video, we will focus on how we can do, how we can use it to find academic sources, how we can do literature review. To start using it, go to typeset.io or SciSpace.com. The links will be in the description. You can check them. This will be the main page of the type, uh, SciSpace or Typeset. You can create an account by clicking on this sign up button here. If you already have an account, click on login button. Since I already have an account, I click on login button. I logged in into my account. After logging in, we can do multiple th things with SciSpace. We can do literature review. We can extract data from our PDFs. We can use AI Copilot to interact with our documents, meaning we can ask questions for the whole document or specifically selected part of the document. We can also use paraphraser function of the SciSpace. But today we will focus on the literature review. You can right away type your question or request on this search bar or from the left sidebar you can select literature review. I do so. So you can see here SciSpace literature review tool. We can type our request, questions, keywords into the search bar. I type European Union migration laws. This is a very very broad request. You can be more specific. I just type this for testing. SciSpace provides up with multiple stuff here. First of all, it is insight from top five papers. You can start using it. You can see also the sources. So it's a very good starting point point. And here also you will see the table and columns. In the first column, you will see the names of the articles. For some articles, you will see this open access button and PDF button. If you click on, click on the PDF button, it will download it automatically. Another important feature are columns here. As you see, SciSpace gives us a column which is called insights. And this column gives us very brief insights about the papers SciSpace found for us. We can add more columns like here it says popular columns. As you see, I can add another one like TLDR. That's abbreviation for too long, didn't read. Let us do that. It added another column. In this column, SciSpace gives us another brief information about the papers. We can add the column about the methods used. Let us see which methods used in, in those articles SciSpace found for us. As you see, for some articles, it's not available. And for some articles, it briefly explains which methods were used to write the, the respective articles. You can, check, you can check other columns for yourself. So briefly, I believe SciSpace is a very useful tool to find articles. And when you click on the article, let us do that. So here you can save article. As you see here, you can ask questions. So we will cover it in, our, in my another uh, YouTube video. And if you click full text button, you can also get the full text of the article. I also want to inform you about the plans of the site space. So when you signed up, you automatically have basic plan by which you can do limited literature review searches. You can ask limited messages on Copilot. But if you switch to, to the uh, premium plan, you can do unlimited messages, unlimited literature review searches, etc. Generally, I can say that they have student-friendly plans, but today I have a uh, discount codes for you, which you can find in the description as well. So with the first discount code, you can have 20% discount on a monthly plan, and the second one with the Vugar site, you can have a 40% discount on annual membership. So if you like this tool, you can use these discount tools, and you can start using SciSpace. That's it for now. If you like this tool, if you have you ever used it, please let me know in the comment sections. And if you like this video, please, please hit like button. And for, for my future videos, please hit subscribe button and see you in my next videos.